Today, we are going to talk about hearing safety and what you need to know about how to protect your ears from loud noises. In a previous video, we talked about the tiny hairs in our ears that allow us to hear noises and how those hairs can, be, can become damaged when exposed to loud noises or even long periods of not-so-loud sounds. So to start with how we do know how loud a sound is, one way by using a decimal monitor, which there are many available in the app store for a cell phone. A decibel monitor will listen to the sound through the phone's microphone and provide a reading on how loud that sound is. I use my phone and with help of a parent was able to measure the decibels of a leaf blower. hair dryer, my brother playing his trombone, I can then take the decibel readings and compare them to other sounds on a decibel chart. So, what we can do to protect our hearing from loud noises. There are actually four ways to protect ourselves, and we can show it using a toy called a Nerzuka. If you don't have a Nerzuka, you can do this at home with an empty milk jug. We are going to use a pon-pon pon -pon to simulate the effect sound waves have on those tiny hair cells in our ears. To demonstrate this, we will use air instead of sound so that you can see how we can best pro protect our ears. First, we are going to expose our person to a loud noise with no protection. Without protection, the sound moves those tiny hair cells to a point where they could be damaged. Now, we are going to show four ways to protect your ears from the same sound. First, we can protect our ears by blocking the sound using earplugs or earmuffs. To show this, we will use this piece cardboard to help block the sound. See how there is less movement in the tiny hair cells we, when we block the sound? Second, we can avoid the sound by moving away from the source sound. So we move our person back away from the sound and see how they are impact if we move away from the loud sound noise. It will not be as loud to our ears. Next, we can turn down the sound. In our demonstration, we will turn down the sound by letting less air out. Turning the sound down is very is important when watching TV or listening to music in your headphones. Hopefully you have learned about how you can protect your hearing and how you can use a milk jug and show this demonstration to those who live with. Also, talk to an adult about getting the decibel reader for a phone and start measuring the sound level of items around your home. Protecting your hearing. When it's gone, it's gone.